and welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. I'm Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board alongside me is Stuart Robson, my commentary partner. And we're focusing on live action from Italy's top division, Serie A. Stuart, what are you expecting? Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward, and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. This is the lineup for the home team. Rui Patricio stands between the posts. Brian Cristante plays with Jordan Veretu in the centre of midfield. And beginning the game up front today, Tammy Abraham. This is the Milan starting 11. The goalkeeper is Ciprian Tatarushanu. Teo Hernandez starts with Davide Calabria in the fullback positions. And the starting role in attack is handed to Olivier Giroud. And now they get the ball rolling. Went in strongly, decisively. Excellent refereeing, advantage in operation. Nicky Carian. And Mancini on the ball. Henrik Nicky Carian. Pellegrini. Is it going to end up being productive for them? And let's give credit to the defending. And they need to get tighter. Ben Asser. Kerr has it. Kessier. An authoritative challenge. Tammy Abraham. Pellegrini. And foiled only by the crossbar. And he clears the danger. Well, they've started really brightly here. They were so close to taking the lead. Olivier Giroud. On the ball, Salamakers. Crossing opportunity. So a throw in here. Diaz. Rebich. Oh, it's a goal! And certainly a deflection off the defender into the back of the net. Well, here's the deflection, as you can see, but you can't blame the goalkeeper. He was just wrong-footed there.
underway again with Milan in charge. Pellegrini. Here's Cristante. Brian Tristante showing patience as well as persistence in the build-up but just like that possession changes hands Ben Asser. on the ball Sandermakers Calabria Alexis Sandermakers oh that's a pass of high quality Still looking for space. Oh, it's a wild, wild finish. Sammy Abraham. Abraham. Mkhitaryan. He takes aim. Well, he didn't miss by all that much. Well, he struck it quite nicely, but the keeper was always in control of the situation. He knew that was going wide. CA has it. Salamakers. Ben Asa. He has time to play it over. Not a bad pass it was. Could be a chance to break here. Pellegrini. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. So almost at the break here, and not quite going to plan for the home side. Work to do, Stewart. Well, it's been a tight first half so far, but they haven't quite shown enough guile in the attack in third. If, however, they can be more dynamic in the 1v1 situations, they have the quality to turn this around. for that final pass and for that chance to level the game insufficient guile on the crossing front you've got to say Rebic and that's great work to keep it in play now the stoppage time situation one minute here well possession seeded And with that, the first half draws to a close. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. So the second half underway, and Milan looking to build upon what was a largely positive first half showing. Ficayo Tomori. Now Giroud. Fluency of movement. Space and time for the cross. So a deflection, and they can get ready for the corner kick routine.
favoring the short one well they have it again Abraham Rick Carsdorf Pellegrini now with Mickey Tarian chance to do damage Pellegrini terrific block oh it comes to nothing in the end really should have made more of that Stop. They will make the change now. Well, great read there to intercept. Good looking sequence. And that wasn't a million miles away, almost the equaliser. Well, it's not a bad effort, is it? But they've got to find a way back into this one. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. in possession from Milan there are two I think you've got to conclude that was good refereeing a free kick in the end after initially playing advantage, but it just wasn't there. Well, just a warning on this occasion. Might have decided to hand out the yellow card. And going short with it. Pellegrini, lovely work to get past his man, bad pass. Brahim. On the ball, Sanamakers. Zlasan Ibrahimovic. The Rossoneri pushing forward with options available. Well, play stopped. It is a free kick. Personnel change then. Rebic. Sandro Tonali. Zlatan Ibrahimovic the referee correctly decided to play advantage well rule to have taken up an illegal position only just and a retrospective yellow card is the referee's verdict well no doubt about it that earlier challenge was a definite booking
and into the last 15 minutes of action El Sharawi had a chance to whip it in here well as a play it goes and that was in no small measure due to the effective press Sandro Tonali Kessie Rebic has it Prahim lovely ball over the top and the keeper was always likely to do his job under no pressure well real difficulty keeping the ball well, nearing full time, and here's the question. Are they going to come up just that little bit short? Stuart, your thoughts? Well, their attacking play has been too slow. It's lacked penetration, and at times it's looked devoid of ideas. But can that change in the final few minutes here? It only needs one moment of magic. Couldn't grab hold of it. And in the end, no damage done. Well, that save has just about kept them in this but they need to create chances of their own and quickly if they're to get a result here. How can they find a late leveller? And let's give credit to the defending. Kea. Pass after pass, happy to just keep possession and frustrate their opponents. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. A message delivered from the referee to the fourth official. Three minutes on the board. Playing with purpose and control. Ibrahimovic. Sandro Tonali. And space for the cross. Giving them a different option by moving in field. And there goes the final whistle, much to the disappointment of their supporters. Well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but I never felt they were in control of the game. A frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Yeah, good performance and a really critical goal to give them the lead. They just couldn't cope with his movement today.